Hi YouTube, Silvercoin here. It's been a little while since I put a video up. Um, I've just been busy with other things at the moment. But um, I got something in the mail today, so I'd love to show everybody what I got. So what I bought here is um, a random lot of coins. Um, the seller probably didn't realize what was in here. Um, and so I ended up paying only $9 for just over one troy ounce of actual silver. So, lucky for me, um, this is what I got. First up is a New Zealand one florin from 1933. Uh, so, what I like about this coin is the obverse. This is um, this is not the usual George V design that most people are familiar with. We did have one like this in Australia, but that was only on the uh, Melbourne Centenary Florin. So most of you probably know of this portrait for George V. <clears throat> this is by far the most common one. Um, <clears throat> for some reason they use this one in New Zealand. Um, so <clears throat> also got a one shilling also from New Zealand in this lot. This one is a uh, 1934. And another one here from 1942, also from New Zealand. And this one's a uh, George VI. So these three coins together is 0.3636 troy ounces of silver. Moving right along. This one here is a very lovely coin. This is uh, an India one rupee, Victoria Empress. Um, this is, of course, the Victoria Gothic portrait. And on the reverse, this is a lovely design as well. One rupee, India, eighteen eighty four. This one, this one's a sterling silver coin. And the last of the silver coins in this lot is a one golden from what's interesting about this one is that it's a higher purity than sterling this is 94.5 percent silver and subsequently they debased it to 72 percent um, so this one this one's a, a nice looking coin too and then some of the other coins that were in this lot that aren't silver um, so, two of these are New Zealand one pennies. This one here is a New Zealand half penny. Um, got a cupro nickel New Zealand florin. Um, of course, from '47 onwards, they weren't silver anymore. And then this one is a Hong Kong one cent coin from 1926. Very interesting coin as well. So yeah, all told, just over one troy ounce for only nine dollars, with some of these other coins as a bonus. Uh, so, like I say, there's always bargains to be had. You just got to keep your eye out for them. And like I did here, I picked up a bargain for myself. So thanks for watching, and um, always feel free to leave any comments or questions below. And thanks for watching.